Hello, Juan. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert over at uh, Zucker Marketing. And Eric, thanks for talking with him, by the way. He uh, sent over your website for analysis. It is a beautiful website, uh, but I'm not interested in the aesthetics of it. I, I don't know if you were prepared for what I'm going to tell you or not, but I found some interesting things that I think might be good for you and your website. Um, and your website is no longer just a, a vanity thing or or I mean this a website should be something that makes your company money it should be a tool of your company and that's what my analysis is about I have several different uh, um, uh, tools that I use that mark the metrics of your site this is one this is the one that I use this time that actually helped me uh, some things jumped out at me while I was while I was looking at that tool and here's what I see um, uh, for Albuquerque, um, this is a, a Albuquerque roofers. I just did a general search, and as you can see, there's these ones up here, which are all sponsored, meaning those are the ones that people have paid to be there. These are the uh, map pack ones. We call them the map pack because they're attached to a map. People like to hire locally, so somebody nearer them is likely to get a click. And then below that are the organic searches and I don't find you in those and that's a shame you have a great website and I'm sure you have a great service here is in the organic websites uh, uh, the first one is GAF Angie's List Better Business Bureau then Alvarado Roofing now I'm going to refer to Alvarado as your Google competitor right now just for a, a, a point of comparison and um, let me uh, let me do this I'm going to go to your website and I'm going to cut and paste everything on it cut and paste here we go you have 249 words here's Alvarado I'm going to cut and paste here is Alvarado 774 now when it comes to a Google search Google wants you to have 1500 words and uh, this is what I'm here to educate you about, I hope, for your website. There, the Google algorithm that determines the, the position of where things go is a numerical uh, system that they have come up with, and it has to do with certain metrics of a website. Now, one of the metrics is the word count. You have 249, they have 774, so they beat you by three times what you have, more or less. And, and when it's a numbers game, when it's an algorithm deciding these things, it becomes about who wins number wise. You don't win in this one, unfortunately. Um, now, all words are not equal. Uh, some words are better than others. You don't want 1500 of the word the or hello. You don't want that 1500 times. You want words that are in your category of the, of the, of the business you're in. And Google knows what your category is uh, because they know where your site comes up in a search result compared to other sites. So here is your uh, uh, website again in that tool I was telling you about Ahrefs. Now, uh, this is really of, of great importance, uh, I, I hope. Now, this is the uh, strength of your website. This is a rating out of 100. Your rating currently is a zero. That's something that needs to rise. It really does. And here is wh where you're going to be able to do that. You see that the strength of it is essentially the strength of your target's backlink profile. That's your website. You are the backlink profile compared to the other uh, websites in their, in their database. You have one backlink. You have 12 keywords. And your traffic through Google last month was two. So um, that's what your website is getting you right now. This website should be a tool that brings you in money and, and not having anybody come see it is going to be a problem in terms of it making you money. Here is um, Alvarado's. Uh, just Now watch these numbers change. Alvarado's website, their backlinks 385, you had one. Organic search words, they have 228, you had, uh, what was it? Uh, 12. And the traffic two, here's the big one. They have 648. 
let's say that one out of 50 people will actually call you and, and book an estimate based upon looking at your website. Um, the n amount of people that are going to be clicking on yours is a negative number because uh, you haven't even got up to 50 yet. And here they have at least some options. So, um, but here, let me show you some keywords. This is the next thing I want you to know about, because that was this thing right here, this number that you had for. Uh, organic keywords, roofing companies, Albuquerque, Albuquerque roofing companies, roofing Albuquerque. It's a whole bunch of variations of the same words in different order. And those are served here. The uh, uh, keywords and key phrases are served on these pages of Alvarado's uh, uh, website. So uh, one of the things you can do for yourself is, is figure out what all these different search words could be. One way of doing it is by going up here and, and like if you type roofers and then, you know, company, it's going to tell me, like it's going to predict what it thinks I'm going to uh, put in. Roofing companies in Albuquerque, commercial roofers. I'm going to put C, just Albuquerque roofing consultants, companies, consultants, reviews. Yeah, so uh, this shows you a whole bunch of predictive options for it. That is one way for you to find out what the uh, search results could be. Uh, um, and uh, obviously we can do it because we have this tool. But uh, another thing you can do to get into the uh, this area, this area is the, the map pack. And um, the map pack is a bunch of people who have gone to Google and filled out a Google business profile. Now, uh, it's free to do. You can go there yourself. Uh, it's just like a Facebook profile. It's going to have a bunch of blanks for you to fill in. Fill them all in. The Google algorithm wants you to be complete. It thinks that the more complete you are filling things in, the better a website and a better company you'll be in. Therefore, you deserve to be to the top of their list. Um, you know, you could have a cruddy company, but as long as you had all the right uh, business profiles filled out, filled out thoroughly, if you find a blank that you're not sure what should go in it, put anything in it and they'll correct you if it needs to be corrected. Put what you think needs to be in there. There are tick boxes. On-site services is a tick box. Uh, online estimates is a tick box. Tick box. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Um, so that's one thing you can do for yourself. And then this other thing, the actual backlinks themselves. That's what this number here was. You have one backlink. Uh, this is the Alvarado one. They had um, 385. A backlink is another site, not your own, that refers back to you. And it's essentially Google's way of determining how important you are because Google thinks that the more people that talk about you, the better you are. Uh, and it's, again, an algorithm. It's not my doing. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. But because it's an algorithm that we know how to manipulate it. And I don't mean manipulate in like a shady way, just we know what it's asking for. If you can put what the algorithm is asking for on your beautiful website, then you will get more traffic. And that is the bottom line. Have this website make money for you. Um, all the things that I've told you about are, are not uh, rocket science. Uh, you can do some of them yourself most of them yourself, maybe even all of them. Uh, but uh, they're not hard, but I will tell you that they are time consuming. Going and finding out who your uh, competitors' uh, websites are listed on, going and trying to find out what all of the uh, search phrases and keywords are is a very time consuming process and then getting them into your website. Um, and there's a lot of different ways of getting them onto the website, for instance, uh, uh, like this here, Absolute Skylight and Construction is actually a, a, a GIF file. If I click on it, or it might be a JPEG actually, if I click on it, I can go to what it's called. Uh, this is the name of it, FB Image 1569. Now that's a lost space. You could have this, instead of being called that, you could have this be called Best Roofer uh, in, in Albuquerque. You know, uh, it, it, it's just as simple as that. You can rename something that way and get your word count up. So um, anyway, I hope these have, been, uh, these have been useful tips for you. Um, and if you would rather spend your time doing roofing and other construction versus, you know, goofing around on websites to figure out what the backlinks that your competitors have, I think that's where Eric could uh, come in handy. So 
uh, give him a call if uh, this sounds interesting to you, if this is something that you'd like to proceed with, and he will show you the next steps. Thanks so much for watching.